Welcome everybody! In this video I'm going to show you how to create blinking lights in PowerPoint. Use these for Christmas or Hanukkah or Diwali or New Year's, any holiday where you want to add a little bit of sparkle. This video will focus on more of the traditional colored lights like this, but if you're interested in more of the white icicle look, then check out this other video of mine linked above and below. But let's get started! I'll start with just a blank slide here, and the first thing I want to do is update the background color. So I'll right click, Format Background, and then over here we'll make this black. And now we can start on the lights. For this I'm going to Insert, Shape, and I'll start with the oval, one of the basic shapes here. And just kind of eyeball something like this. And then to make it just a little bit pointier at the top, if you right click on it and say Edit Points, this will let you drag the top up just a little bit, kind of eyeballing it about like that, maybe a little bit more. And I'll hit Escape to get out of that Edit Point mode, and then maybe dragging the whole thing down, maybe a little bit more. So something like that. Play with it until you have it just as you want it. And then we also need the base for the light. For this I'll insert a rectangle, and I'm going to go with the rounded corners one here. And then just draw that down here, align it. And depending on what you want to do for colors, if you want this base to be maybe a gray color and your light to be another color, then you can update that and then group them together by selecting both and then saying Group. I'm actually going to use the Merge Shapes functionality. So with both of these selected here under Shape Format and over to Merge Shapes, there's a couple options here. You can union them, and that'll make them actually just one shape. Or I kind of like this effect where you combine them, and it cuts out this little circle where they intersect. So I'm going to go with that, but choose whatever you want to do here. With this option, though, the whole thing will be the same color, so I can't have a different color base. So up to you. All right, now we're going to need a whole bunch of these. So with the light selected, a handy shortcut to duplicate is Control D. And I'll just do four of these. Kind of space them out here. I'm going to do four different colors. If you want to do just two colors, red and green, or something like that, that's perfectly fine. Again, I'm really just giving you some suggestions here. So the first one, select that and then come up to Fill Shape. I'm going to make this one red, just the standard color red. And then I will get rid of the outline. So no outline. The second one, I'm going to go with the standard color green, and also remove the outline. Next one, let's go with blue, so standard color blue, also no outline, and then this one, I'm going to go with the yellow color, so standard yellow. Again, totally up to you if you want to choose different colors. All right, then I'm going to select that whole group, Control D to duplicate, I'll actually do that twice. So we end up with three groups, and I'm just going to space these across the slide. Something like that. Okay, now we actually need two different groups of lights. So I'm going to select this whole thing, Control D again, and we're going to treat these as two different groups. We'll have the group here on the bottom be the blinking or the glowing group, and then the one on the top, this is going to be the solid state or sort of the off position of the light. And then we'll bring everything together in the end. So starting down here at the bottom, let's work on the glowing and blinking version for just one of the colors. So I'm going to select all of the red, and then let's apply a glow effect. So up here on your Shape Format tab, Shape Effects, Glow, and then Glow Options. And the glow can be a different color than the fill shape. So here under Color, I'm actually going to go with a slightly lighter version of the red. So Standard Color will start with red, and then if we come back into More Colors, I'll lighten that up just a little bit on the Custom tab. I'll just drag this up just a tiny bit. Again, this is all personal preference. Feel free to experiment with things. Just makes it stand out a little bit better. And then for the size of the glow, this is something you can play around with as well. It's currently at 10. If you make it larger, you'll see the size of the glow increases. 
I've found something about 8 to 10 works pretty well. There's an 8, maybe a 9. So we'll go with that. And then I'm going to take similar steps for the other colors here. So selecting all of the green up to Shape Effects, Glow, and then Glow Options. And here again, I'm going to start with that same color of green. And then I'll go more colors, lighten it up just a little bit, something like that. And then the size of the glow, I'm going to go with nine points for mine. I'll do the same thing for blue and yellow and be right back. Okay, so we have our glowing version of the lights. Now we also need to make these blink. So I'll select this full group down here on the bottom and up to animations. And this will be an emphasis animation. It doesn't show up in this top group here though. You'll need to come into more emphasis effects. And there's one down here under exciting for blink. Perfect. And then on your animation pane, if you don't have that open, come up here on the top right animation pane. Make sure you have all of these selected. They're all orange. And then right click on one of them, come into effect options. We just want to make sure this applies to everything. And then timing. And we're going to repeat until the end of the slide. Okay. There we go. There's a preview. Those are looking pretty good. Now for this top group here, again, this is the off or the solid state of the light. I'm actually going to change these colors to be just a little bit darker as if they were off. So for the red ones, if I just come up here to home and shape fill, I'll say more fill colors and drop this color down to a darker red. Here again, I'm just sort of eyeballing it. And then I'll do the same for all of the other color groups here. So more fill colors, kind of a darker green as if it was off. And blue, I'll zip through these real quickly. Okay, we're almost done with this part of it. Now we just need to drag this one up on top and align it over the off or the solid version. Make sure they do align right exactly on top. You should get some guides to sort of help you there. And also make sure they're in the front. It looks like mine are, but just double check you can Right click on one of them, bring to front so that the off version is behind all of these. All right, let's see how this is looking so far. I'll go into slideshow mode. And I have this set to start on click, so I'll click. And there we go. Looking pretty good. All right, now we need sort of a rope or a string to put these on. So for that, I'll come up to insert shapes. And you probably don't want a straight line, but obviously that's an option. If you want something a little bit more curvy, then select the curve line here. And then click your mouse just off the edge of the slide. And it's a little hard to see where my mouse is going, but basically everywhere you click your mouse, it'll create a curve. So just click along here until you get to the other edge of the slide. Click everywhere you want the curve. Click click off the slide, and when you're done, just hit the escape key on your keyboard, and there you'll see what you ended up with. I'll make this a white outline, so shape outline and white, and then weight. I'll increase this to two and a quarter, and you can play with this as well. If it's not quite as curvy as you like, you can just drag the handles up or down get it the way you like, or you can start over if it didn't quite turn out like you thought it would. And then all you need to do is place your lights. So for these, remember that you have two different shapes here. You've got the glow shape and then the off shape. So you can just make sure you're picking up both shapes as you're moving them around. And then you can use the circle here on the top to rotate them and place them along the rope. These don't have to be perfect. In fact, you probably don't want them too perfect. Just get them kind of evenly spaced, maybe random as well. So for example, I don't want all of the reds and greens on the bottom and all of the blue and yellow on top probably, but whatever works for you. Maybe I'll do this one up here 
and then the yellow one down on the bottom. So I'll get all of mine placed, pause the video, and be back in a little bit. All right, here's what I ended up with. Hopefully you got yours placed just as you want them as well. Let's take one last look at slideshow mode. I'll click to start and admire the handiwork. Nice job. If you found this helpful, I would really appreciate you hitting that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.